So when, when it comes to battle rap, it was something I had been doing my whole life. I just didn't know. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, in the cafeteria at school, being on the tables with the pencils, rapping against folks. I didn't know. Like, I've been doing this my whole life in the neighborhood on the corner, like downtown Atlanta, on the mm -hmm. block, just rapping against people. I had been battle rapping my whole life, but just not from a professional standpoint. So um, when the pandemic came, right? Yeah. Uh, some of me and my partners was online, uh, just rapping against each other, bro. And then that's how I ended up getting discovered with battle rap. Um, it got into the algorithm. I ended up meeting somebody from Indiana and we end up like, you know what I'm saying? Tapping in and just putting our money together. Shot his name is yo, yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo twice. Y'all check him out. He real dope with the graphics, um, with the battle rap stuff. Um, we just got online, bro, just rapping against each other. Then got the 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 major battle rappers to start coming online because of the pandemic. Everybody had to move online. So, mm -hmm. you know, it just we started a business, bro. Start like, you know what I'm saying, investing money to get some of these big name people to come out and, and rap. And then it just started taking on a life of its own, bro. And it got to a point where people started knowing me more for battle rap than being an artist, even though I had been an artist my whole life. It's like, <laughs> it seemed like it had shifted almost. Like people forgot I even do music. Like now they just think of me as a battle rapper, but really battle rap occupies such a small space of my portfolio. Right. But it gave me an opportunity to get some traction with yeah. a whole nother demographics, a whole nother group of people. It started opening up doors that, yeah. you know, I didn't necessarily open up or needed or think or, or knew that I needed to open up from a musical standpoint. And it ended up with the battle that you that you was playing. It ended up putting me in these different arenas, bro. And I'm grateful for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And one of my hardest battles um was my first big battle with this dude named Adi Boom. Mm -hmm. Because Adi Boom had come to find out got discovered as a snitch 